Hi, good morning. I haven't done like a day in the life vlog in a long time. So I thought I would bring the camera out today and do one. Garrett is currently in Florida for work. He's going to visit a property there. He is a real estate investor for anyone that's new here and doesn't know that. So he leaves occasionally to go check out some properties. I have the house to myself today. So there's a couple things that I needed to get done. First of all, it's kind of like a mess. I need to clean, I need to do laundry, all that kind of stuff. But I also hired a contractor off of TaskRabbit to come get a couple things done while Garrett's gone because I wanted to surprise him. Just things that have like been on our list for a bit since we moved here. I think we moved here in like, I mean, we moved to Arizona a year ago now, but we moved into this new house like October maybe, I think I want to say. So since then, we've kind of had like a few things we wanted to get done. This house was pretty much remodeled when we moved in, which was a great change for us. Normally, we find a house, remodel it, and then we move into it. So this was fully remodeled, which is great. But there's a few things that we just like needed to change, which I will show you. But in one of our last houses, we had this closet that was our cat closet because of the litter box and all that stuff. It's just kind of gross and I like it to be out of the way. So we had this closet that had like a little cat door cut out in it. That way the dogs like aren't tempted to eat her food or her poop and she can do her business in private. So right now, like all of that stuff is located up in our bedroom upstairs, but I'm gonna move it down to a closet in our laundry room. I didn't trust myself to cut out the little cat door, so I'm hiring a contractor to do that. And then I'm gonna ask him what he thinks about building some shelves in that closet as well, which I will show you. But anyway, so I'm also making sourdough right now, which has been a whole other thing that I just like can't figure out. I feel like part of it has to do with the fact that like our weather in Arizona is just dry. I don't know. I started this starter last year now, like maybe it's been like 10 months at this point. And the starter has had moments where it's doing really well and it's doubling and all of that bubbly and great. And we've made bagels with it and the bagels are pretty forgiving. So they've been really good. But every time I try to make a loaf of bread, it tastes good, but it's just not fluffy enough. And I don't really know what the problem is. And I followed multiple different recipes and it's just not working. So anyway, I haven't made bread in like six months because it was just really frustrating. But this morning I decided to make a loaf and my starter was really happy. So the starter's good. I just don't know if it's like the recipe or if I need like a more hydration. I don't really know how all that stuff works because we live in Arizona where it's like a bit more dry. I don't know if we need more hydration. Do we need less hydration? I have no idea. Hmm. It smells good. I want it to be a little bit more brown on the top, so. While that's in there for a couple more minutes, I'm going to show you the closet that the guy is working on today. Okay, so this is, you know, our laundry and I need to put some stuff away. This is just the status of where we're at currently. But behind here is this closet that like the contractor had left all of his stuff in here. Like all the paint and everything. I hung this up, which is just a holder for the ironing board steamer and i also just hung these up which was really easy but i'm gonna make this like our cleaning closet obviously not gonna have any chemicals available for the cat to get into but i just wanted to get some shelves built for here so i can like actually put things away um and yeah it's not supposed to be super cute but i plan to clear out this stuff and then i'm gonna have to figure out what to do with all of this i'm gonna put this in the garage while the guy's here i don't know like a foot and a half for the bottom one and then the top shelf would just be smaller um, I'm not really sure. We'll kind of see what he thinks, but I just want something really simple. We'll just see what he thinks. But anyway, this part is a little bit awkward because this door opens like this. So, and we keep this door open all the time because it's like to our house. So pretty much the only spot that the cat door can go is right there. And I don't love it there. I'd rather it be like in the middle, but this is the cat door. So we had this in the last house. The tail obviously goes on the back and then the front is like this. So he just has to make the cut out and it'll be on the corner like that. So she'll have to go in right there basically. And then eventually, don't mind this mess. Eventually we wanna get this capped off, this outlet, and then move the dog bowls right now are in our living room and put them in here. So they will go up there, but we have two Great Danes and <clears throat> they make a mess when they drink water. Like it gets everywhere, it's flooded, which is great that we have tile in here, 
but um, I think the outlet there would be a problem because they would definitely get water in it. So we're gonna eventually have someone like cap that off and shut it off and then we will be able to move the dog stuff in here and then it'll kind of be like the pet area corner and then obviously like laundry on this side. This looks better. <sighs> it's hot. I don't know. Okay, I took it out and um, it's kind of cute. It's just like a little loaf. But uh, I didn't score it very well, so don't judge how it looks. But that's the little loaf. I tried a different recipe this time, and normally it's like way more complicated. You have to do all these steps and stretch and fold, stretch and fold, all that stuff, which people know how to do. I don't know, it's never worked for me. So I actually tried one this time that's like literally only one stretch and fold um, at night, and then I let it rise overnight, um, and then I baked it this morning, so. We'll see if maybe keeping it more simple is better. I'll let it cool and then we'll cut it open later. All right, she's cleared enough for him to work in here at least. I took everything out. And now I gotta figure out what to do with all that stuff. Probably we'll just get rid of it. I gotta take names of like the paints of everything. But um, I'm now thinking I just want one shelf like right here because it's not very tall. Like, I don't think that doesn't show you anything. It's just not very tall. So I think one shelf would be enough. And then, yeah, that's enough storage for me. 11 o'clock now. I actually scheduled the guy this morning for like 8 o'clock to come in. And he rescheduled to 11, I guess. So I have been running errands, just getting things done and I just got home and now the bread is cooled. It definitely feels hard, which has been my problem every time. It's just like rock hard. It's so frustrating. It's still gonna taste good, but yeah, that's way too dense. So that means it was underproofed, right? I mean, oh my God, it smells amazing. I bet it'll still taste really good. But what do I need to do? I think that means it's underproofed, right? Because it's so like dense. It definitely is cooked all the way through, but it's just thick. Like, it's just really thick. I made a little avocado toast. It's definitely good. I just need to figure out how to get it fluffier. I don't know. So it's like pitch black in there because there's no light in here. So I found these little rechargeable um, motion sensor lights. And so whenever the cat walks into here, this turns on for her, which is perfect. And it's not super cute, but it's very functional. And that was the goal. And yeah, it's really nice to like be able to easily grab things. I put the bleach products up in a different cupboard so that she couldn't have access to them. Um, but just have like all the mop stuff here and then back there is like vacuum accessories, um, disinfectants and stain and then glass cleaners here and then all of our rags up here with our dusters, Swiffer and yeah, it's very functional. I'm happy with it. Okay, the only thing that's like kind of sad about moving the litter box downstairs is the cat used to sleep in the room with us every night and we'd have the litter box and her food in there. 
and now she like sleeps outside of our bedroom and it's so sad uh, but it is really nice to just have it away from the dogs and not worry about them getting into her food or her litter box or anything so anyway I'm just glad that it's functional again and that is all thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video